What's up everybody? So today we're going to talk about a few articles. We'll talk about this first one very briefly. This is from the Daily Mail and it's saying number 10 pros remain MPs foreign collusion amid plot to allow John Burcourt to, surren to send surrender letter to Brussels asking, asking for a delay to Brexit. So a lot in this article but there's obviously two major points here and that's that the government are actually setting up an investigation to find out whether the remain MPs who uh, made the Ben bill actually used foreign power to uh, help them in that and also the new plan to see Burko being able to send the surrender letter so we'll read a couple of paragraphs here it's all in the first couple of paragraphs so Downing Street has launched a major investigation into alleged links between foreign governments and the MPs behind the surrender act which could force Boris Johnson to delay Brexit the source is told number 10 took the unprecedented action after officials received intelligence that the MPs including former cabinet minister Oliver Letwin had received help drafting the bill from members of the French government and the European Union the newspaper has also learned that rebel MPs have drawn up plans for a second act second surrender act that's just what we need which would allow common speaker John Burko to bypass the Prime Minister if he cannot strike a deal to leave the EU on October the 31st so a second act let's I don't even see the point of having a government at this point the MPs are just gonna bypass them at every point well we'll have to see what happens right Moving on to this one, I really wanted to talk about this article because this is a very interesting article from Zero Hedge. Now, if you haven't read Zero Hedge before, I would suggest you go over and have a look at it. Very good website, lots of good information. Can be a little bit financial at times, I'm sure you understand when you have a look at it. However, this is authored by Tom Luongo via the Strategic Culture Foundation. And it's going to talk about stopping Brexit is about saving the European Union. So... What, the, what, what this article is about, it, it, I'll, I'll summarise it. Basically, what he's saying is that the, what the Supreme Court has just done and fa what they uh, just decided was essentially that if the Prime Minister can su suspend Parliament for any length of time, say three days as a normal prorogation, it would legally be no different than him suspended Parliament for a year or even indefinitely. Well, as ridiculous as that sounds, that's essentially what the Supreme Court has found in this case. Now, this totally fails to take into consideration even more devious prorogations of the past, as we've discussed in previous videos. Now, what it does do is limit the role of the government to conduct business and set the agenda. So the courts have taken that away from the government. The speed with which all of this was pulled together was the clue that this was a stitch up from the very beginning. Time is running out to stop a no deal Brexit, or let's face it, a, any kind of meaningful Brexit at all for that matter, and therefore everything must be turbocharged. And this is essentially what we've been witnessing for the past couple of weeks. Now this um, author wrote a short while ago, and he wrote this paragraph, and we'll read it from a previous um, article he wrote. He says, The Remain coalition in the UK Parliament have become vandals. They would destroy everything about their government, traditions and what they know to be true outside the halls of Westminster to ensure the dreams of their paymasters are made real. The fact that they would put forward a bill, the Ben Bill or the Surrender Bill, that hands absolute control over future negotiations with the EU to the European Commission is treason period that they would then hide from a general election that they know would reverse their coup is an act of vandalism it is the height of arrogance for people who first stood on party manifestos to implement brexit and then demanded a people's vote to stop it to simper and use their last remaining bits of power to deny those very people the opportunity to change their representation out of fear of brexit now, the court 
what they've been doing, what the Supreme Court has done, is ensure that the people have no say. The Remainers know that a general election would make Parliament more Remain-leaning, and power would change hands in favour of the Brexiteers. They also know that a second referendum would essentially mean putting to the country just two versions of Remain. So you wouldn't even get the option to leave on the next referendum. Now, Boris Johnson, he's not going to resign. And so he will become neutered and pilloried. Again, this is exactly what we're seeing now in the press. So the only thing they can do to remove him is remove him in a vote of no confidence. Now, Brexiteers, they want an election first to let the country decide how we move forward. And that's what Boris Johnson is pushing. The Remainers want a second referendum. Now, the reason they want the second referendum is because they believe they can win that second referendum and that will re render an election absolutely null as it's too late to do anything about it when the people have voted. The author goes on, I will read a few paragraphs at the end here. So, their willingness to upend all conventions of civilised governance is the clue you need to realise just how big the stakes are. With the EU fail, falling into a massive recession that ECB President Mario Draghi is willing to throw aside all EU fiscal rules to combat the risks, because, make no mistake, losing the EU from the EU's budget would be catastrophic for an EU staring at massive capital outflows, as helicopter money happens and bond yields reverse from their current bubble levels. I, I did warn you, this website can be a bit financial, but if you understand all of that, it absolutely does make sense. Um, if, if you have some time, have a look at what the helicopter money stuff is. It's fascinating. Anyway, he goes on. Brexit is emblematic of the West's decline from the rule of law to the rule by men. Changing the rules to hold on to power and deny the will of the people is a re recipe for revolution of the type that ends very badly for those doing it. The opinion of Parliament in Britain cannot sink much lower. That anger will now also be transferred to the courts. So like I said, very, very interesting article. Very well put through his arguments. Anyway, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, like, share and subscribe if you appreciate what we do.